Hi, my name is Alba Silva, and I'm a technical solutions architect for Cisco SD-WAN. In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to integrate Cisco's SD-WAN solution with Cisco's secure internet gateway solution umbrella. This integration represents one of the ways in which Cisco is helping our customers get started on their SASE journey. I'm going to show you the automated way of achieving this through some very basic configuration in vManage. But first, let's look at why we want to do this. Let's consider a simple use case where a user at a remote branch needs to access an application on the internet. Traditionally, we would backhaul this traffic to a central location where we would apply a number of security controls like application aware firewalling before allowing traffic to route to the internet application. However, with Cisco's SD-WAN, you can simply enable direct internet access or DIA on the WAN to allow the user's traffic to drop off locally on the internet circuit for access to the application. This allows the user traffic to flow on a more direct and usually better performing path to the application. The challenge for customers now becomes how to secure their users accessing the internet directly from their branch locations. Cisco SD-WAN provides a multifaceted approach to securing users. One of those is to leverage a centralized cloud delivered security solution, such as Cisco Umbrella Secure Internet Gateway, or SIG, to provide a suite of security controls such as DNS security, secure web gateway, Layer 7 Firewall, CASB, and more. With the integration of Cisco's SD-WAN solution and Cisco Umbrella SIG functions, we can now automatically generate a pair of encrypted primary and secondary tunnels to the Umbrella Cloud. The primary and secondary tunnels will be built to the closest Umbrella locations for optimum performance. Up to four pairs of primary and secondary tunnels can be built from each SD-WAN router for additional aggregate throughput and load balancing. The user's traffic will now be sent from the SD-WAN router to Umbrella over the primary tunnel. Once terminated in the Umbrella cloud, the user's traffic will be subject to the suite of security controls configured. As each SD-WAN router dynamically establishes their connections to Umbrella, the same set of security policies can be automatically applied to the traffic within for every user on the SD-WAN fabric. If that primary tunnel fails, then traffic is automatically rerouted to the secondary DC via the secondary tunnel. Let's see this in action. We start off at the vManage dashboard where we get an overview of the entire status of the network. In order to configure devices, vManage employs the use of device templates. These define the various configuration elements that will be pushed to the router. Looking at the device template assigned to my router, we can see that it is fairly basic. I have a WAN or transport interface defined with NAT enabled on the interface. I have a service VPN and its associated interface, which includes a NAT DIA route. This means that all of my user traffic bound for the internet is currently routing directly out of my internet interface. Jumping over to the umbrella network tunnel configuration, you can see that I currently don't have any tunnels established. We'll see in a minute that once we apply the auto tunnel configurations, they will automatically appear here. Back on vManage, let's look at the templates that we need to add to our device to enable auto tunnels to SIG. First, the SIG credentials template. This template simply includes the umbrella API keys that will be used by vManage to automatically create the tunnel endpoints for the router. Next, we need to have the SIG template that defines the tunnel parameters we would like to use. Note that we can define a single tunnel or a primary and secondary tunnel. Looking inside the tunnel config, we can take a look at the available parameters that can be defined. Notice that we have not specified any IP addresses or FQDNs for the tunnel. This will be determined dynamically based on the location of the router to optimize the performance of the tunnel. Further down, we can let vManage know which tunnel will be primary and which will be secondary. If necessary, we can also force our tunnels to terminate on specific umbrella DCs. All that's required now is to add these two SIG templates to the device template. I've created a new device template to achieve this. You can see that I've added the SIG template and the SIG credentials template further down. We also need to remove the DIA route we had previously and replace it with a SIG service route. With that saved, we can now apply this device template to our router. We do this by selecting the template and adding devices to it. Once we click on our device on the left-hand side, we can look at the changes that will be applied to our router as a result of adding the SIG template. When vManage has completed pushing the configuration to the device, our tunnels will be in the active state in Umbrella and the user traffic flow will change to utilize the tunnels. 
To validate this, we will log back into the Umbrella Network Tunnel Dashboard. Now we can see there are two newly created tunnels and both tunnels are in the active state. Looking at each one, we can see which data centers were chosen as the primary and the secondary termination points for the tunnels. Since this router is physically located in Melbourne, Australia, it makes sense that both Melbourne and Sydney Umbrella DCs were selected. Security policy can be applied to all tunnels automatically from the Umbrella dashboard by specifying the target of the policy to be all tunnels. For example, you can define a web policy that will be applied to all tunnels automatically as shown here. With all the connections verified, internet bound traffic from users at our site will be sent to Umbrella for inspection. Our user data from the SD-WAN Edge router is now secured by Cisco Umbrella. Imagine now this same template applied to hundreds of routers at the same time, all building secure automated tunnels to our cloud security service dynamically. It makes for a very simple, highly secure and automated SaaS solution. In a future video, we'll show you how to selectively route traffic to Umbrella through the use of SD-WAN policy. Thanks for listening.